Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 17th, 2021. Well, my goodness, yesterday we started out with a big push. The bulls got really inspired by um, stronger than expected retail numbers. Then, well, we started to struggle just a little bit with momentum. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. I apologize. My voice probably sounds a little bit rough this morning. Uh, still struggling with a little bit of, uh, well, just a little bit under the weather. But no particular worries here, so uh, I do apologize if I do sound a little bit odd. Let's take a look at uh, these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, as you can see here, the diamond struggled here at the end of the day. Um, we saw selling coming in right there at the end of the day yesterday. If I go to like a quick 15-minute chart, you can see we were up here. We kind of sustained it. We held and held, and then, boy, end of the day, we just gave it up. And it doesn't mean that we are really in trouble here, but it does add just a little bit of caution, and it may add credibility to more of a pullback that could be on the way. Or maybe we're just signaling, as I talked yesterday, that we might need to set a new level of price support in here with more consolidation in the chart. So keep a close eye on that. Now, one thing we do want to continue to remind ourselves of, we've kind of slipped beyond that big upside rally. This got really stretched out. So perhaps that rest is the healthiest thing the market can do. And we cannot rule out that possibility that we test, retest support or even pull back a little bit further to gain a little bit more strength in that support if we move a little bit lower. So watch carefully for that. We've got a little teeny tiny bit of bearishness in the the market this morning. We saw um, uh, Asian markets uh, mostly lower last night, and we have European markets really flat this morning. And there may be some reasons for that that we'll discuss here in just a little bit. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, the SPY enjoyed a much stronger day and um, closed the day, as you can see, with a bullish engulfing candle and came really, really close, you know, to that full on breakout here, new record highs, but came just a little bit short of that by the end of the day. Um, again, we have that trend here that we've kind of slipped beyond and we're running into this price resistance in the chart. We're seeing just a little tiny bit of a uh, just a, a lack of momentum maybe to push on through. And so let's watch that closely. Could we fail up here and create more of a double top? Yes, I think that is possible. But I don't know that that would be um, horrible either if we only come back and just retest this level of price support. What would be horrible, what would create some pretty um, scary times, I guess, for the NASDAQ is just noticing there's really not much of any other support under that. So if we were to really slip back hard, we got a little teeny tiny bit of support in here. And if we were to fall below this and take out that low, then that would potentially signal that double top high because if we create that new low in here, that would be a problem for us. But until that occurs, I don't think I'm gonna to get too worried about this. And if we can find the inspiration, it wouldn't be a big effort for them to set new record highs. And I gotta tell you, getting this close to new records, I can't imagine the institutions are going to uh, miss that opportunity to set that record. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at the cues, the cues were the strongest of the day yesterday. Nice bullish engulfing candle. And it really was big tech that did the majority of that lifting yesterday to push us up. Um, and that, of course, helps the SPY dramatically. However, we have a little bit stronger price resistance level here in that chart on the QQQ. And if we can push on through there, then wonderful. 
if we were to fail here, if we were to show some weakness and pull back, we'll be okay, like I say, if, if we hold that price support right in there. If that price support were to give up, that's where we have a real problem and we set a potential double high um, in the market. So watch carefully for that. If we can get enough inspiration through these um, earnings today, perhaps we can push on through. Let's take a look at our IWM. Now IWM ended up holding up pretty well yesterday, but struggled there for a while. We started down and came back toward the end of the day. But let's watch that closely. We do have that potential of that lower high. We haven't failed this low yet, so no particular worries. But that lower high does give me some concern and that possibility I think is relatively high. We could just chop our way back to this price support in the chart. That's a very significant price support and it wouldn't be out of the question to test it um, and make sure that it's going to hold. Um, remember our trend here that we have in this um, IWM is a little bit flatter. We, we really stretched away here on that move to break through the resistance. So we could just have to um, do more of a sideways consolidating move back to that trend and support. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX yesterday was, was going up for part of the day. And then by the by the end in, in here, we ended up slipping back down. So part of the day we had a little bit of an increase. But what we want to notice in here is that we're still holding on to that possibility of a higher low in the chart. As a matter of fact, if you look at um, carefully at this, this could be a potential inverted head and shoulders pattern starting to form up here. Now the neckline of that head and shoulders pattern would be up here. So we we've got a little bit of rallying to do before we have to worry about that neckline of that. And so far we have found that willingness and that ability to hold below that price resistance in the chart. But we can't rule out that higher low and that possibility if fear does start to come in to the market that we could push up through that area. So watch carefully. And then let's take a look at our T2122. Now it was interesting yesterday that while the market was really, really strong and rallying, we barely moved the T2122 indicator. As a matter of fact, for the majority of the day, it was actually down. So what that was uh, signaling uh, uh, to us is that lack of momentum. We have a very select group of stocks that were moving up yesterday, but the majority were not moving up. We had a lot of sideways. We had quite a little bit of downside um, in um, the stocks. So we didn't um, get a whole lot of momentum going here on the day. Now, what this tells us here, remember T2122 doesn't give us a directional uh, analysis for the day. It just tells us where those pressure points are. And being down here in this middle range and showing that little bit of lack of momentum, we're really going to need earnings to do something pretty good or we need to find inspiration, maybe politically or in economic data, to inspire those bulls to continue to push higher because that, that opens up that space to the upside. But also keep in mind, if those bears were to happen to find that inspiration, then we do have that downside that could come into play. And I can show you maybe some of the reasons why that momentum is starting to look a little bit problematic. But let's continue on. Let's take a look at our T2107. T2107, this is what I was talking about in that momentum, lack of momentum. Notice that the number of stocks holding above their 200-day moving average slipped yesterday. We actually moved lower while we, the market was moving up. So we had um, and a little bit of a slip going on there. Now notice that's still holding above that trend. So nothing to particularly worry about other than we were, we were struggling um, to hold on to that bullish momentum throughout the day. So watch that closely. If momentum starts to, to falter here just a little bit, and that drops down into here, that could be a little bit problematic for the market.
that's carrying an awful lot of heavy weight of stocks slipping back down below their 200 day. So watch carefully for that possibility. If we take a look at T2108, this is another um, chart that I think is very interesting. And you guys know that I've been mentioning that we've been setting new record highs in the markets with fewer stocks um, holding above their 50 day moving average. If we look at this over here, notice that yesterday, while our indexes were largely up, the number of stocks holding above their 40 day moving average actually pulled back. So just another indication that the, that momentum, we may be struggling there a little bit with that momentum. And if we take a look at our T2101, well, we can see, whoops, T2101, we're struggling in here as well. We're getting very, very close to the bottom side of this, and that might signal that we may be running out of some of that bullish energy for the short term. Not saying that we're going to fall or, or collapse in the market, but that we might see a little bit of a profit taking or bearish wave possibly coming into that market to rally us back up. So watch that carefully in T2101. Now, what could be causing the problems here? Why, why I said I could mention maybe why that could be the case. Well, let's take a look at UUP. UUP, the U.S. dollar um, fund, notice how we have been rallying very, very strongly. Now, one of the questions that has come to me is why, could, why is that the case? Why, um, why is that going on? Well, I would say one reason is that there is a bit of a crisis going on over there in China with all of their real estate crunches and, and companies um, missing payments. And those payments are dollar denominated payments. These are massive, massive payments that need to be made. And that dollar denominated payment means that those companies need to be seeking out and buying U.S. dollars. So we might be starting to see a little bit of a liquidity crisis starting to develop here. Um, in the market. And as that continues to rally, as the dollar continues to rally, we'll want to watch commodities very, very carefully because a rising dollar typically pulls those commodity prices lower. So watch carefully for that as we continue to push in um, the dollar, getting just a little tiny rest in the pre-market here this morning. But this is a substantial move in the U.S. dollar, and you can see a substantial breakout here in the US dollar, and that could be creating some trouble. If we also take a look at um, our 10-year uh, bonds, notice our 10-year bonds, we started down yesterday just a little bit, but boy, by the end of the day, we continue to push up. Um, there is that inflationary factor coming into play here and a little bit of possibly risk off coming in the market if we continue to see that occur. Now, um, as you can see here in the 10 year, we have a significant level of price resistance in the chart. So it will take some effort to push up through there. That may give us some hope um, in that chart. And then if we take a look at um, our 30 year bonds, our 30 year bonds also yesterday, they started down, but boy, by the end of the day, they were pushing back up with that concern. And so I think there may be this little risk off attitude, possible liquidity uh, crisis coming into the market. Once again, there's quite a little bit of price resistance in here. So we could catch a little bit of rest and pullback in that, but watch those carefully. Uh, that could be one of those reasons that we're struggling here. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar, we have a couple things we'll want to pay attention to here this morning. We've got mortgage applications that will be coming in. We've got housing starts and permits. Right now, housing starts and permits are um, consensus is suggesting they tick higher, so that would be bullish for the market, seeing those consumers continuing out there building and spending money. Um, so watch that closely. We'll have the petroleum numbers today. Now that could be a big deal today. And the reason I say that is because with the dollar rising, you should typically see oil pulling back, struggling a little bit because higher dollars, lower price on the oil. And that could be an interesting situation if this were to show 
a decline in supplies that would help push that um, that oil sector higher and again that d relates directly to our inflation and we'll want to pay close attention to that as uh, if that were to occur however if there's a surprise uh, build in supplies that could actually help that oil sector pull back a little bit keep in mind we have a virtual parade here today of uh, Fed speakers, and I do think it might be worth noting with the bonds doing what they're doing right now. Keep an eye on that 20 year bond auction here at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern today. That might be um, an interesting telltale to see if um, bonds are really starting to struggle or not. And then keep in mind as you plan forward for Thursday, we've got jobless claims in that Philly Fed manufacturing data coming out on Thursday. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we're starting to diminish on earnings, but we still have quite a few notables. There was only about 44 companies on the list today. And you know, a, a number of those um, unconfirmed reports. But what that means is we still have some notables today. And let's take a quick look at that. Um, first, we're going to be hearing from Lowe's. We've already heard from Lowe's this morning and they um, had good results following along with the Home Depot. And I suspect Lowe's earnings is even going to help Home Depot a little bit more today. And then if we take a look, um, we have target numbers coming out. Now, a little bit of struggle going on here in that target number. We saw Walmart sell off heavily yesterday. So that may be struggling here just a little bit on target. Um, keep an eye on that. We're also going to hear from stocks like Baidu today. Baidu could be interesting. We'll hear from Carmart um, today. We've got after the bell today, we're going to hear from Cisco. And we're going to hear from NVIDIA. Is it NVIDIA? NVIDIA. NVIDIA. Just a second. Yes, NVIDIA. Uh, I had to check my list there. NVIDIA reporting after the bell today. So that could provide a little bit of inspiration. Because I'm running along in this video, guys, with that extra, extra explanation, please make sure you click the link below the title of the video. Go back to the morning blog if you want to see that full list of notables for today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for the day. But before we do that, guys, do me that quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, click that subscribe button on YouTube. Then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Make sure you crush that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment if you feel that the video is worthy. That helps the channel to grow. Thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. And then also, if you could do me um, that uh, additional favor, if you want to support the channel, um, you can click that link below the title of the video that you can buy me a coffee. And I want to say a shout out. Um, uh, there was a uh, uh, someone doing that um, uh, yesterday. So I just want to th say thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that. Channel is growing and we soon will hit that 25,000 and I've got a giveaway that's coming up um, to the members of the channel. Let's take a look at the stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys they're not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence and make sure you understand carefully carefully, carefully, carefully the risk of these trades. Let's take a look at Plug Power. As you guys know, Plug, um, I told you guys that I'm an owner of Plug, so I have a bias on this. And keep an eye, um, we got into this trade right, um, right in here. Um, whoops, right in here. Well, come on, give me my drawing tool. Right through here, we popped up and then we just kind of rested and pulled back. But notice that we found this trend in here and we're starting to show that bullishness and that possibility that plug could push on through to the upside. So watch that carefully. Plug looking pretty good. I still think we should be keeping a close eye on Ford. If you take a look at Ford, nice little uh, trend here. And we've just been resting our way over here toward the trend. Notice how tightly wound up this consolidation is. So there's not a big risk on this trade to a stop loss. That's my favorite kind of trade. Watch this carefully. If we can find that inspiration, Ford could push on through to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. I think it might be um, a good idea to keep an eye on these shippers. If, if we're going to continue 
to spend and and right now consumer debt is hitting record highs um if we're going to continue to spend for the holiday season keep an eye on those shippers fdx has been rallying nicely by the way this right in here was where i had that chart alerted let me show it to you right there where i had that chart alerted that's looking really good now a little bit of rest a little bit of consolidation that you see the last couple of days is sliding us back out here toward trend watch for that next potential opportunity to move to the upside you could also take a look at ups now ups um, has been consolidating for a while and notice that that consolidating pattern is tightening up and we're holding in here we're challenged by this support and resistance level trying to decide whether or not we have enough energy to pop on through but i like that tight consolidation if we can find that reason that the bulls were to step in then that could be a nice low risk entry into a trade so keep an eye on that you might want to keep an eye on um some of these casino stocks uh, i've mentioned these before and um, we had a little bit of a rest yesterday in um, uh, win but notice that we're still holding on to this nice little upside trend so holding in here and that opportunity that we could push on through here to the upside so watch that closely and i think um, there is a possibility of valero energy but I, I can't give you a price direction here. We have a nice tight consolidation, but notice we're doing it at a lower high area. So we have a resistance level here, and we have a support level right under this area right in here in this nice little tight box. So let's watch this. We could pop through to the upside, or we could fail to the downside if oil continues to show just a little bit of strain here from its elevation. So watch carefully. For that and last but not least guys i've got to keep mentioning um, these metals take a look um, fcx got a little bit of a resting pullback yesterday now i think that is a good sign after a big stretched out candle like that we need that proof that proof that we can hold the support level so if this comes back in here and rests and consolidates a little bit that sets up a low risk opportunity where chasing a candle like this actually creates a substantial risk to the price support in the chart. This, if it holds support in here, creates a low risk trade to that price support and that possible low risk entry into that chart. So keep a close eye on it. We had um, silver, silver pulled back a little bit yesterday um, and notice we're trying to perk up a little bit more today. So watch that carefully. That break of this neckline is really starting to show some proof that buyers are showing um, there is some concern about inflation. So watch that carefully. We may have to rest some more here to come out here toward trend, but keep an eye on that. And then the other, of course, is gold. Gold uh, pushed back yesterday, but look at what's happening in the pre-market today. We're seeing a little bit of a surge back up here in gold. So watch that carefully if gold comes back around pushing back to the upside and that would be that inflationary fear that risk off uh, potential in the market with the rising dollar and bonds moving substantially higher so watch carefully with that guys i want to close out this video i want to wish you a fantastic day i wish you great results in your trading stay safe trade wisely and we'll see you right back here right and early thursday morning have a great one everyone